New timbers or unit sample secures del of n is defined as del of n equal to 1 condition is n equal to 0. For 0, del of n equal to 0 condition is n not 0, not equal to 0, which is shown figure 1.1a. Similarly, the shifted unit timbers or sample sequence del of n minus k is defined as del of n minus k equal to 1. The condition is n equal to 0. When g of n minus k equal to 0, when n not equal to k, which is shown in figure 1.11b. 1. 1. 1. Figure a, unit impulse, sample sequence. Okay. B, figure B, shifted unit impulse. Here, unit impulse sample sequence. Here, condition is n equal to 0. That time is del of 1 is, del of n is 1. Okay, here condition. This is this. When n is not equal 0, that is other other than zero all del of n equal to zero okay this is yeah. and then a uh, shifted unit impulse response that is here yeah, is del of n shifted at the k that is here okay so that's why here del del of n minus k minus k for shifting unit shifted unit impulse sequence so shifted here k distance so here the condition is del of n minus k equal to when n equal to this axis is x uh, n. This axis is n because discrete function. So here, so uh, shifted unit impulse up to k. So here only impulse response at k equal to n equal to k. Here n equal to k. So one. Here is one amplitude. Okay. When n is not k, it means other than k. Other than k is all or zero. Okay. Already we have seen in the last video. Unlike the continuous time units impulse function del of t del of n is defined without mathematical complication or difficulty. From definition say 1.5 and 1.46 uh, which is readily seen that a x of n del of n equal to x of 0 del of n unlike a, the continuous time unit impulse function del of t del of t and then uh, del of del of n is defined without a mathematical complication or difficulty from definitions 1.45 and 1.46 one if it is readily seen that x of n del of n equal to del of n same x of n equal to 0 that is n equal to 0 here here x of n del of n minus k equal to x of k del of n minus k it means here x of 
x of k you mean here n reach the k so here this is same Unlike the convenience term unit inverse function, del of t del of n is defined without the mathematical complications or difficulty from definitions. From this definition, is really seen that here. Without so the mathematical conditions, which are the discrete time counterparts of equation 1.25 and 1.26, respectively, from definitions 1.43 and 1.46, 1.43 to 1.46. Del of n and e of n are related by del of n and e of n related by del of n equal to e of n uh, minus e of n minus one. Del of n equal to e of n minus e of n minus one. E of n equal to this even a e of n equal to summation over k equal to minus infinity to n del of k. This is equation 1.5, which are the discrete time counterparts of equations 1.30, 1.31 respectively. Using definitions 1.46, any sequence x of n can be expressed as x of n equal to summation over k equal to Minus infinity to plus infinity x of k del of n minus k. X of k yes x of n equal to summation over k equal to minus infinity plus infinity x of k del of n minus k, which corresponds to equations in the continuing time signal case. Complex exponential sequences. Complex exponential. Sequences. Complex exponential sequence is the the form complex exponential sequence. So here three conditions there: complex plus exponential. That one will be sequence. Complex exponential sequence in the form x of n equal to e power j. Omega not n complex because j due to j exponential due to e sequences up to n. That's that's why x of n equal to e power j omega not n. Again using Euler formula, x of n can be expressed as x of n equal to e power J omega naught n equal to cos omega naught n plus J sin omega naught n. Thus, x of n is a complex sequence whose real part is cos o sorry yeah cos omega naught n and the imaginary part is sin omega naught n. That is, this x of n, this x of n is complex sequence whose real part cos is cos this one cos omega naught n is the real part, and the imaginary part is j sin not j sin omega naught n. Periodicity. Of e power j omega naught n. In order to for e power j omega e power j omega naught n to be predict, sorry, to be periodic with period n n of greater than zero. Omega naught must satisfy the following condition. Omega naught divided by two pi. Equal to m by n, m is the positive integer. Period city name itself says period of city. E for n means some period, not continuous some period. In order to 
for e power j omega not n to be periodic with is to be periodic with the period that period should be n is greater than condition n is greater than 0 omega not must satisfy the following condition that omega not must satisfy the following condition omega not divided by 2 by equal to m by n m is the positive integer thus the sequence e power j omega not n is is a periodic for any value of omega not is not periodic for any value of omega not thus the sequence e power j omega not n is not a periodic for any value of omega not it is periodic only if omega not divided by 2 by is a rational number it is periodic periodic only if it is a periodic only if omega not divided by 2 by is a rational number note that this is property is quite different from the property that the continuous time signal e power j omega not t is periodic for for any value of omega not that if omega not is satisfy the periodicity condition equation 1.4 that is omega not a uh, not equal to 0 and the n and the m have no factors in common then the fundamental period of sequence a, x of n in equation 1.32 is n not given by n not equal to m of 2 by omega not another very important distinction between the discrete time and the continuous time complex exponential is that signal e power j omega not t are the are all distinct or distinct values of omega not a but that is not the case for the signals in j e power j omega not t and A figure B C D real exponential sequences. Real exponential sequences. A alpha or it is greater than one. B one is one is uh, greater than alpha, alpha is greater than zero. It means alpha in between one and zero. C zero is greater than alpha, alpha is greater than minus one. It means a minus sorry 0 to minus 1 in between alpha here in d alpha uh, alpha is uh, less than minus 1 okay we will see the first one uh, a alpha is greater than 1 alpha is greater than 1 in x axis n alpha is greater than 1 means a alpha is greater than 1 so I mean alpha is greater than 1 condition like this ok when when alpha in between 1 and 0 that is 1 is greater than alpha alpha is greater than 0 it means here condition alpha is 1 and 0 Me, uh, 1 is greater than alpha here 